Manny Emue is the perfect example of taking a mental health break and learning absolutely nothing. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And today's video is brought to you by my book, Rewire Your Anger. All right, so Manny is under a bunch of fire once again. And in my book, Rewire Your Anger, I talk about a lot of things things like quit causing your own problems, apologizing, how to apologize the right way, how to quit apologizing so much because you're causing your own damn problems, all of that. So if you can relate to anything that Manny Emue is going through, make sure you pick a, a copy of Rewire Your Anger. It's linked down in the description below. Also a couple updates. I will have the physical copies of this book uh, available on Amazon this week. So if you want to check back in with that, everybody who wanted the audio book, um, I posted about this on my community page and Twitter and things like that. But anyways, I don't have the resources um, to do the audio version myself with my voice. I know a lot of you love the smooth sound of my voice, but I'm probably going to hire a narrator to do it and just get it done and maybe I'll redo it later with my voice. But it was a, a lot more complicated than just self-publishing a, a book like I did before. So anyways, that'll be coming very soon as well. All right, so yeah, let's talk about Manny Emue. He's under a bunch of backlash right now because um, what happened with a copyright claim he filed against T-Spill. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm not a drama channel. Um, I want you to learn from other people's mistakes and understand what's going on. Like I used to be Manny Emue. I used to cause a bunch of my own problems. So to give you a little backstory for those of you who aren't all up in the beauty guru stuff, Last year, Manny Emue had a bunch of backlash, lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers for some stuff that happened with Laura Lee and Gabriel Zamora and uh, Jeffree Star and Nikita Dragon was kind of up in the mix. So in, in an effort to kind of reset and realize what he did, he took a break from YouTube, a mental health break, which if, if you will. And something I talk about all the time on my channel is that we need mental health breaks. I actually just filmed a video with my mom about self-care and improving your well-being. But here's the problem with mental health breaks. So many people do it the wrong way. And when Manny Emue came back, I said, only time will tell, but I don't think he learned much from his mental health break. And what he's dealing with right now is a perfect example of it. All right, so he came back, you know, he's been just kind of doing his own thing and basically what happened was, I don't even know the names of this stuff, Tristan. He took the Morphe concealer, is it? Foundation. Foundation, oh, so close. Foundation and all that and people said it was, you know, a fake review and like there was all this stuff about it. Well anyways, Tea Spill is a, 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 a tea channel, right? And she talked about it and she used clips from Manny and what Manny did was he filed a copyright claim against it. So what happens is, is Manny then gets all the revenue from tea spill. And something I tweeted about the other day is like, when are, when are people gonna learn? Like, you know, like most of the time, like this is, you know, just a jerk move. Like it's not gonna end well for you, right? So a ton of stuff happened, a ton of stuff, more people were covering it. And this has been kind of a big topic lately. I know a lot of you have wanted me to talk about Veronica Wang and Shook Bang because something happened similar with that. So I guess the first thing that we'll talk about with anger management is like, this is the reason why you don't do things out of spite, out of revenge. It comes back and it bites you in the butt so hard. This is one of the reasons, one of the many, many reasons why TanaCon failed, okay? Tana's entire motive behind creating TanaCon was out of spite towards VinCon. When you do something out of anger, when you do something to be petty, when you do something to get revenge, it doesn't look well, all right? Like, we have to ask ourselves on a regular basis, who do I wanna be? Who do I wanna be portrayed as? What do I want people to see me as? What are my values, right? And and obviously Tana's motives were messed up, but like Manny, Manny, he filed that claim out of, out of anger, out of frustration and all that, and now it's blowing back in his face. This is why, this is why, you guys, like, 
there's such a misconception that mental health means a lack of mental illness. You guys, one of the reasons I wrote Rewire Your Anger is because anger management is a huge part of mental health. Not having your anger and emotions under control can cause so, so many problems in your life. We see it happen on a regular basis. Me, this happened so many times. I've left jobs out of anger. I've left relationships out of anger. I've gotten into fights with friends and family out of anger. I have done so many things out of anger that made my life worse. So whenever you're doing something here's a great rule of thumb i do it with every single video that i create check your motives check your motives check your motives check your motives why am i doing this right so when i was talking about this situation over on twitter a fellow comment uh commentary uh, not commentary but another content creator talked about this and said they've been on both sides of this they've had to file claims and they've had claims filed against them right and again like that's cool like the copyright claim system is in place to make sure people don't steal your stuff right so like for example when i started blowing up with the uh, shane dawson series that some of you amazing subscribers told me that there was a channel that was literally taking my videos and my thumbnails and just re-uploading them. They were just taking them and trying to re-upload them. That's not cool. So thank goodness for the copyright claim system, I was able to get those videos taken down, right? But when we live in a world of YouTube where there's a lot of commentary or covering news or whatever it is, um, like just filing it for no reason, it is a problem, right? Because people have the right to discuss situations. They have the right, this is what they call fair use, okay? They have the right to do that. So when you're just being petty and saying, oh no, I don't want it, and you just go to take it down, like that's petty, it's unjust, and it's and in Manny's situation, it was out of anger, all right? So anyways, Manny came out on Twitter and he basically said this, and I'll put screenshots up. So he said, hey guys, wanted to come on here and address the copyright strike I placed on T-Spill's channel. I reached out to T-Spill and we resolved the issue and I removed the strike placed on her channel. Honestly guys, I did it out of frustration and was getting, uh, getting hundreds of hate comments, people telling me to kill myself and death threats over a foundation review I thought was good, uh, a good job. Looking back, I know I could have been more clear, but T-Spill never asked people to send me death threats. All right, this is um, like, I can get into it. Like you guys, like the internet's just a dumb place most of the time people are gonna say kill yourself you're gonna get death threats from like five-year-old kids <laughs> not literally five-year-old kids but it's it's whatever like you guys one of the biggest rules of thumb that i have is that quit causing your own problems i have an entire chapter dedicated this in anger in, in rewire your anger quit causing your own problems because so many of us we cause our own problems and then we play the victim Right? Oh my God, oh my God. Like I see people, I see people online. I'm not gonna name names, but there's somebody who comes to mind. They, they make these like sensational things to try to get viral, to try to get attention and stuff like that. And recently they got a bunch of public backlash and it caused a lot of mental health issues. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, quit causing your own problems. And it was within weeks that this person started doing it again. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, did you not learn anything? Did you not learn anything at all? So you, you, yeah, you watching this video, sit back and ask yourself, how many problems of, are you causing on your own? Because we sit back and we think that the whole world's against us. Why is everybody so mean to me? I'm just this innocent little person in the thing, but we cause our own problems. The other day I had somebody um, come at me on Twitter, right? And then a bunch of my, my fans uh, or subscribers or rewired soldiers, right? They came to, to my defense and they were having a, an adult debate, right? Because I do not condone any kind of trash talking, threats, anything like that. So I was monitoring this and people were debating because I was staying out of it, right? And th this person said, don't attack me, don't attack me, right? And I'm like, what what were you expecting? What Did you think that you were gonna come out here and everybody was gonna agree with you, right? Like, here's what we, we need to understand. Like, not everybody is always going to agree with us. So part of our issue, and this is why I promote mindfulness and meditation so much, is that we feel so justified in our terrible behaviors, right? Like Manny MUA probably felt justified in doing that to T-Spill. He felt justified in that moment because his head wasn't clear. He was running off emotions. We feel justified in doing this and we think everybody's gonna agree with this and all these other things. But then when we get some clarity or we see that backlash, we're like, oh, all right, you know what I mean? So it's really important that we get this stuff under control, all right? But Manny himself said that he did this out of spite, he did this, and a lot of anger, which I talk about in the book as well, comes from fear, 
right? It comes from some place of fear and we get defensive. That's one of the ways that we, we cope with the situation. We get defensive, sometimes we lash out, sometimes we lash back. But what I'm saying is, is learn from Manny's mistakes and when you take a freaking mental health break, for the love of God, do something, all right? All Manny did, and now there's proof to what I assumed back then, all Manny did was take a break, you know, act like he was working on himself and he didn't. He didn't, because if he did, he'd have a therapist by now, and he'd probably be running by his therapist. Hey, this channel did something, it really hurt my feelings, what do you think I should do? Because no therapist on the planet would say, you know what you should do? You should do something petty, and I guarantee the result. No, no therapist is ever gonna say that, right? So like I've talked about in the past, there are so many people who cannot afford therapy. They do not have the resources to afford therapy. So when I see millionaires like Manny MUA and other, um, you know, influencers who keep living on their, like, by their own will, their own thoughts, their own decisions, and they're not getting therapy, and then they keep getting this hell storm that comes their way, I have very little empathy. You have the resources to go see a therapist and start getting your mind right and quit causing your own problems. Like, and, and here's the thing too, last part about this rant, like, you guys wonder why I make so many videos about enabling, go watch Manny's comeback video. His parents are some of the biggest enablers on earth, right? Because they're just like, oh, Manny's just this, Manny's just that. Like, Manny needs to go get professional help. I'm not saying Manny's like, sick or twisted or anything like that. Well, I guess that's debatable depending on who it is. But his parents would say, why don't, why don't you see a therapist? Why don't you talk? Why don't you start doing this? Why don't you start working on yourself, right? Because this isn't just about Manny, this is about you. You might be like slowly destroying your career that you've worked so hard on. I don't care if you're a freaking accountant, I don't care if you're an artist, I don't care if you work in retail, I don't care what you do, because if you don't get your anger under control, you are going to continue causing problems which are then going to hurt you even more, all right? Because the issue is, and the reason why I talk about this, we all sit back and act confused. How did this happen? How did I get up in this place, right? And it's because we refuse to work on our mental health. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching any of my videos. If you have sat through any of my videos, it means that you are actually taking a little bit of time to try to work on your mental health. But like we always say, don't just talk about the problem, focus on the solution. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on that because I'm getting sick and tired of seeing comments where people are just trying to get the pity party and we don't, we don't play that here at The Rewired Soul. Start getting into the solution. If you cannot afford therapy, come join our support groups on Facebook or on Discord or even both, all right? If, you, if therapy is an option, talk to your doctor, talk to your insurance company, see who they recommend, talk to friends, see if they have a therapist that they can recommend. My channel is supported by BetterHelp Online Therapy. If you would like to do that, it's pretty inexpensive. Check the links down below, all right? But get your anger under control or you can pick up my book, five bucks, all right? Anyways, let me know down in the comments below. How many times have you had your anger cause a problem in your life, all right? How many times have you realized that you need to get your anger under control or you're going to continue to have problems in your life? All right, let's have a conversation down below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get exclusive content, access to our uh, private Facebook group or other groups and stuff like that, click or tap right there. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.